So we're going to test out some of the turbo jets today. Uh, I was fooling around with some rocket designs, and it turns out you can get out of the atmosphere really, really, really quickly uh, with the turbo jets. Now what I'm doing there is I was just going through showing you I'm not cheating or anything. None of the cheats are on. Atmospheric reentry is on. Everything is on. So uh, I have the solid rocket booster on the bottom and the three turbo jet engines going. Those are throttled up so that while the solid rocket booster is doing its thing, they can spool up. Uh, and the solid rocket booster gets them up to speed where they work properly. Uh, and once it runs out of fuel, we're going to go ahead and detach and fly the entire rest of the way out of the atmosphere on turbojets alone. And we're going to, as soon as we hit the supersonic barrier, and we're going transonic, we're going to pick up a lot of speed because that's where these engines really excel. Keep in mind, this is all in real time. I'm doing no time acceleration. There is no after effects. This is all just 100% real time. Uh, if you kick it over to right about 45 degrees and ride it the whole way, you can survive heating. If you try to go a few degrees either side, you can have some of your stuff blow up. It's kind of hit and miss, but it, I mean, we're up at 25,000 feet and ejecting those, or 25,000 meters within a couple minutes, minute and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the burn here uh, and waste all sorts, I am doing time acceleration now, and waste all sorts of delta V uh, just getting into orbit and see how fast I can do it. This is by no means a race, but at the end of this it's, what, going to be about two and a half minutes and I'll be completely into orbit. A very strange orbit, but in orbit nonetheless. So yeah, the turbojet seemed to be a little bit overpowered, maybe? I don't know. Uh, either way, if you don't want to deal with the atmosphere, that is quite a way to get around it. Um, so my spiel, go ahead, like, subscribe. I've got all sorts of other Kerbal videos and more to come. I'll see you guys next time.